Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to this special studio in Zagreb where Nissan has invited me to film the all new Aria. It's their first electric crossover and just look at this amazing design. So it is based on the all new EV platform and that is why, you know, designers had a lot of freedom and they really nailed it with the design, I would say. So I do have the key here, let's unlock the car and you will see this beautiful dynamic indicators and very very slim led lights so look at the lights with these projectors here and then daytime running leds are down there and as you saw they turn into indicators on the front we also have a shield now of course with evs there's no need for a classic grill and i do love this element so this shield with illuminated nissan logo it's a new logo looks very very nice indeed down there you will also find uh, the fog lights as well as the sensors and overall i think they really nailed it with the design now from here the color looks black but it's not now uh, you will see it uh, when we come closer so this is the side profile of this car 4 meters 59 is the length and once again all new platform means uh, very attractive design lines so look at the coupe style of the roof this is very very beautiful in my opinion let's check out the wheels so uh, we have the 19 inch wheels you can also get the 20 inch ones and look how aerodynamic they are of course it is needed for you know an ev vehicle you will also notice the wheel arches uh, so they are in gloss black make the car look more robust and now you see that you know the color is not black and if you want to access the charging port, you need to do this. And there we go. So charging up to 130 kilowatts. So let's take another look at the side profile. And now let me show you the back of this car. Uh, you'll immediately notice the crazy C pillar and then this nice glass surface as well as this light. So look at this, they are connected and this looks just magnificent. So let me change the view for you there we go uh, so look they go all the way from here so underneath the spiller and then connected we don't have the logo we just have the lettering here and of course the sign aria and very clean lines i would say i am a huge fan of the design tell me in your comments what are your thoughts so let's check out the indicators dynamic indicators and well let's check out the trunk course electronic tailgate and we have 468 liters here you also have this 12 floor you can do this and uh, well then you can for example put uh, I don't know some of the luggage in here also have in mind that if you go for the all-wheel drive version then you would have 415 liters so a bit less than this but this is pretty practical you do have the hooks for your shopping bags on both sides you have the lights and of course you can fold the seats and get even more room okay and in order to close it you just press this we have the beeping sound and it closes so let me show you the car from this angle and now we will enter the interior but as you can see we have the japanese car so the you know steering wheel is on the other side and let's hop on board so there we go beautiful interior so because of the uh, electric platform we have some uh, you know different elements compared to the regular car so look at this this is all flat bottom a lot of space you have the living room ambience here uh, really beautiful some even say that it looks like the cafe lounge on a spaceship tell me in the comments what are your thoughts okay and this is the view from driver's perspective so look at this minimalistic interior so you have the dual screens 12.3 inch digital cockpit 12.3 inch uh, main infotainment system touchscreen you have this which can be adjusted so look how cool is this you can adjust this move it up and down you have the minimalistic gear lever you have the buttons for the driving modes that have this haptic feedback e-pedal uh, so with e-pedal you would drive it only with one pedal i have the maximum recuperation and uh, yeah well this is all very nice 
Uh, moving on, so this is the main infotainment system. Currently it's not working because this is the pre-production version. Uh, but you get the point, you will have the home button here and then some of the shortcuts for the navigation, stuff like that. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, of course, available as well as the special Nissan mobile app. Uh, you know, you can actually then see how much your car has charged and stuff like that. Moving on, this is the physical button for the volume and this is the button for changing the tracks. You can turn on the indicators with this and we also have a cool indicator sound. Additional haptic feedback buttons are here so you can turn it on or off and you have the vibration so that you know you know what is happening. It's not really that bad. Uh, I was skeptical when I saw the first photos but this is really good and the air vents are nicely incorporated into this dashboard which is by the way um, you know in leather and looks very very nice indeed. You will also notice the ambient lights so look at the ambient lights going all the way here and then also here looking very very nice indeed the steering wheel has the flat bottom two spoke and now i've adjusted the brightness on the digital cockpit you can do it by just uh, pressing those buttons here you can also change the views uh, you also have different menus here in the middle uh, so uh, safety systems then audio navigation driving data and the home menu so a lot to choose from but let me also show you uh, the additional view uh, so in order to do that you press this and you change the meter view and you have more of a minimalistic look i would say so just look at this it does look pretty cool and then you also change the you know different settings and different views uh, on this well let's say more minimalistic look tell me in the comments what would be your choice so this is more like a classic one with the dials but yeah it all looks pretty nice indeed now let me also show you uh, once again this so the minimalistic gear lever is nice but this is the pre-production model so we can't for example open this but what i can do is lift this and show you the wireless charger for the phone and some additional storage room small one but yeah it's decent Moving on, look at this. So we have uh, this uh, electronic mirror. And yeah, well, this is just classic stuff. We have the panoramic roof. In order to close uh, this curtain, you just do this. Let's change the view. So yeah, there we go. In order to, you know, put it back, just do this. And now we have more light and looks nicer. So really nice ambient here. You really have a feeling that you are in some kind of modern living room. I also need to mention that this particular model does have the Bose surround system. And uh, you also have some additional buttons here for your uh, controls, windows and mirrors and lock and unlock button. So now let's check out how much space we have at the back. And before we go at the back, I realized that I haven't shown you some other details. So look at this. This is illuminated and then you have some additional switches here for the charging and stuff like that and two hidden features so when you press this you have additional storage room and also when you press this additional storage room so look how you know how much space you actually have here so you have the illumination down there as well as here now i can't wait to drive this car during the night uh, this will be you know really nice so stay tuned for that as well and yeah because there is a white wall behind us of course on the camera you just have this uh, but it's a cool feature especially if you have a lot of you know stuff in your trunk and you don't see at the back let's enter the car here and uh, well yeah look at this uh, nice leather and this is really good soft touch at the back not uh, something that i would expect really leather aluminium door handles and uh, well yeah let's jump inside look at the amount of space i have here so this seat is adjusted for uh, my driving position and i'm one meter 87 so this is really impressive uh, then this is also nice so you have the air vents heated seats at the back and dual ports so usb-c and usb-a of course uh, if the driver and uh, you know the passenger decides to move this um, down there 
then the third passenger at the back will not be happy so uh, if you're driving you know with five persons i mean if five persons are driving inside the car then probably this will be uh, put like this but if you know uh, you have just driver passenger and two adults at the back then this can also be uh, put for example here without any problems and for my head i do have the space because we have a special you know design here uh, to have additional room and i think they did a good job with that because uh, you know here i wouldn't have that much uh, room but here without problems uh, of course if you don't take the sunroof i believe uh, you would have more space here and finally armrest with cup holders and once again let's check out the view on the front and now let's talk about batteries and the options for the customer so there will actually be five versions first of all you can uh, you know decide whether you want the all-wheel drive layout or uh, two-wheel drive layout you also have two batteries available so you have the 63 kilowatt hour battery or 87 kilowatt hour battery uh, top of the line you have the range of 310 miles that means around 500 kilometers so that's pretty much it i hope you did like this um, first look at the new nissan aria tell me in the comments what are your thoughts and thank you very much for watching speaking about the release date this car should arrive at the beginning of the next year here on creation market so stay tuned for more and of course for the point of view drive thank you very much for watching see you on the next video bye bye